So if you guys watched the Madden Bowl, which saw Henry become the first million dollar earner in the MCS era, you definitely noticed that the Bunch Strong was probably the overall meta in that tournament. A lot of the players were using this formation as more than just an audible quick snap. They were basing their route combos out of this. In fact, we did a video just last week entitled Two Plays Taking Over Competitive Madden. We also did a video last week on the corner route that really can't be guarded by deep out KOs in which I showed you guys a motion out of this particular formation known as the bunch strong nasty in which we were able to motion our running back up to the slot receiver position and put him on a corner and if you were to kind of look at this left side of this offensive formation this alignment is essentially what we would call tight slots and tight slots is a very good formation uh, in its own right as you guys can find that in the Cincinnati Bengals offense as well as a few others and we kind of mentioned how this fork combo is so good because you basically cannot get a KO to react to that throw. So right there, you saw obviously wide open on the sideline. We just got to get the catch animation, but it kind of got me thinking. There are a number of players out there that run this formation that are not taking advantage of a motion trick with how quick this motion is and the ability to get slot receiver hot routes. So if you take a look right here, yeah, we could go ahead and set up a corner route, but one of the things a lot of players aren't ready for is to see double corner out of this type of alignment, or maybe we're just using the B receiver as a total runoff to allow us to get out wide and throw the running back on a corner on a rollout. So maybe we go ahead and do something a little bit like this, and we're able to get this throw out there on the run. This is gonna be a very easy way to throw corner routes against KOs because they're not gonna be able to get back to a running back running a corner route out of the backfield. Or maybe you're running up against somebody that likes to run their purples on zero or five. That's pretty meta. So maybe instead of a corner route, you want something that hits over the middle. Of course, your opponent, after they get hit by a corner route, is going to be looking for it. Maybe the next time you go ahead and you use maybe a post route. And instead, you motion into the backfield. Now you have a slant over the middle. This is going to allow you to be able to create a route that wins over the middle. You guys may or may not remember, but last year I utilized this a ton out of the New York Jets offense in their gun split. And really this trick is something that I think you guys really ought to look at because it does allow you in certain ways to kind of mix up your route combos. For instance, if I put the running back on a wheel and motion him up here, this is actually, believe it or not, gonna be more often than not a one play touchdown against cover three because that post route on this play actually pulls that player and this allows you to throw the wheel and you see right there that honestly that's still even if it's not a one play touchdown it's a huge game so this whole motion system right here where you can motion this running back up get access to these slot receiver hot routes and then motion them back into the backfield is quite good i mean for instance what if you wanted to kind of fool your opponent into thinking you had the running back on an in route or an out route now you got this little out and up pattern that you might be able to utilize. Again, we're not really facing a user here in this particular video, but they think it's an out route and then it cuts up the seam. And now you got something that you could throw if they over user. You could really play a lot of cat and mouse with the running back on top of the fact that, you know, you honestly have all the same hot routes. You could go ahead and motion up, motion back, and then use a Texas route. The whole motion was a decoy at this point. Maybe you put them on an in route. Maybe you put them on an out route, but this is something that you're going to be able to utilize out of this formation that a lot of players are not going to be ready for. Another thing that I want to leave you with before we get into the next formation I want to break down here with this trick is that maybe you motion him up to that receiver position and then audible into the run play so he walks back into the backfield. A lot of times your opponents are going to be thinking, oh, it's not a run play. He's just motioning up and motioning back, but really you're motioning up to go empty. They think it's a pass. Maybe they pass commit. Now you audible into the RPO and you're looking at a big gain if you hand it off. Just little things you can do to play cat and mouse but this is not just the only formation you could run this trick out of let's talk about the bunch x nasty which you guys can find in the kansas city chiefs offense but before we do that make sure you guys are subscribed here to my youtube channel i'm uploading content every single morning monday through friday to keep you guys on top of the pro metas and how to counter it and also throwing in some flavor of my own like you see here in this video that not a lot of players are running these methods that are off the beaten path are ways that you can win games just by knowing more than your opponent and if you guys truly want to know 
more than your opponents, make sure you guys head over to my strategy website, gridirongameplans.gg. Gridiron is a service that keeps you on top of the pro meta. I'm taking the lab work out of it for you by telling you what the pro players are running, what trends you'll see online when you head into online play. And also you guys unlock every single offensive and defensive game plan on the website and members only discord access where we have private lab sessions for our members every single Wednesday. You guys unlock the entire website for $9.95. So the bunch check's nasty. This is basically the formation alignment that is the opposite of the bunch strong and that the running back is now on the left side of the quarterback. The cool thing with this particular trick is again, with this motion, he goes up to this position. So now we could go ahead and use corner routes. We could use whatever we want. You see here, now I've got the ability to run this little quick motion into the backfield. Now he's running a corner route out of the backfield. And if your opponent doesn't have a crazy good zone drop profile, this is going to be something that is going to be lethal because again, you're going to be able to throw it up or you're going to be able to throw it kind of underneath of the outside third. So again, here, kind of take a look when I'm using this pull route, even if you have night train lane on that left side, all the way down and press alignment, the area that the corner route is breaking into underneath of that KO is so good that they're not really going to be able to get back in time. And you see that again, that KO that traditionally plays a regular corner route is just not going to be there. So uh, again, you know, if you were to compare that to somebody running a corner route set up out of like something like this, this is why you notice oftentimes when you run these concepts and you go to throw these corner routes that those KOs can sometimes get there and make you drop it right there. Fortunately for us, we ended up holding on to it. But a lot of times that's not the case when you see that online. It's just the depth of the cut. Once you get it motion into the backfield, that's so great. The one that I really like is the crossing route. And the reason that I like the crossing route is that when you motion it into the backfield, especially when it's running from the short side to the wide side, it kind of mimics that red zone corner. You guys know what I'm talking about, where you have that running back route that kind of gets out of the backfield and then runs into the sideline and it sits underneath of deep zones well, but it's over the top of your flat zones. Typically what you'll see is you get a double team on the edge to kind of seal and then you'll roll out and then you're looking for this little running back route out here underneath of your KOs or, you know, down in the red zone, you're trying to throw it, you know, to the, the back pylon. So this is a little concept that honestly, I think could be quite good uh, if you guys use it in, in the right way. So let's go ahead and spot the ball here on the five and kind of show you guys concept as well. So again, we put Pacheco here on this little crosser. You're going to go ahead and occupy the flat. Um, you guys will obviously want to go ahead and slide protect double team, kind of get your quarterback out on the run. Um, and then really, you just kind of want to make sure that you're having the deep zones on the short sideline pulled in by some sort of seam. So one that I would actually use is a tight end delay flat. So I protect towards the edge, double team the edge. So that way the tight end puts that chip and then releases to the flat. Really what we're doing here is we're using Megatron on this quick flat to open up a void for Kelsey to release into after he blocks and secures that edge for us to roll out. And then we're looking kind of back across the middle to Kelsey on the release or back pylon for Pacheco or front pylon to Megatron if there's no flat right off the rip or run in with the quarterback. So there's kind of four different options here on this play. And you could also run this with this to the wide side as well. And the reason you guys would want to do that is if you guys watched my YouTube short yesterday, we talked about the short side hitch combo. You could honestly run a little cross or hitch combo on this as well. To That way, if you don't get the rollout to the right, you can stay in the pocket and make your read back to the left because that scantling flowers combo is actually really good against zone as well so again right here you're just going to snap the ball roll out you see that the crossing route's going to be wide open boom right in the middle of the end zone a lot of times your opponent is going to be rolling out with you they're not going to be sitting in the dead middle of the field obviously you have the opportunity to scramble take that in or if they're running some sort of no flat defense throw straight to megatron in the flat and walk in for the touchdown but this motion concept to me is something that is completely unexplored by the competitive community i think it's something that you guys really ought to look at i think it's quite good definitely make sure you guys go check it out this is out of the bunch x nasty and bunch x nasty halfback strong of course you can run this concept out of any formation in which you can motion your running back up to a slot receiver the caveat with those formations though is that typically it's going to take a little bit longer this is a very short motion so you can get them up to the slot receiver and then back to the backfield very very quickly and then to be honest with you i know we're kind of signing out the video but you guys can also motion them up motion them back and then have the opportunity to even potentially motion them around and flip that formation uh or that route as well so it kind of gives you a lot lot of opportunities especially if you have that bunch x nasty to do a lot of gross stuff in this that your opponents it's gonna make it really hard to use her so i want to share this with you guys hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel we'll see you guys tomorrow until then this is ann
Get in the lab, Aaron. Good luck.